Now instead of just displaying hello world, let's add an input that accepts a name and our extension is going to display hello name, the name being what we input. So in our HTML, let's add an input tag. So input, the type is going to be text and we're also going to give it an ID. So ID is going to be equal to name. And I'm just going to remove this name and value. So now once we have the input element, let's go over to popup.js and implement the functionality. So we're going to use dollar and within dollar, we're going to have a function, function, okay. And within the function, we first need to select our input element. So dollar and hash name. Now this is nothing but document.getElementById name and this selects the input element for us. So once we select this input element on key up, so whenever the user enters a key, we need to do something. And what is that? We need to execute a function. So function and within the function, we first need to, okay, what do we do inside the function? We need to change the text of the h2 element. So we first select the h2 element, so dollar hash greet, and again, this is nothing but document.getElementById greet. So once we have the h2 element, we're going to change its text. So dot text, and what are we going to change the text to? We're going to say, hello and then concatenate it with whatever the user is going to enter. So plus dollar and we need to select the name or the input element again and dot val. So whatever is the value within the input element. So now let's try to save this and Another thing to keep in mind is when we make changes to HTML or JavaScript pop-up, there's no need to reload our extension. So now if I click on the extension, we have our input element and if I enter Vishwas, it says hello Vishwas. If I enter Heisenberg, it's going to say hello Heisenberg. So there you go, interactivity to our extension.